Hey everyone and welcome to Isms by Josie. Today we're going to be doing another crafter square character that I got from the Dollar Tree, but this time for a lefties. For my returning subscribers, thank you so much for tuning in and for my new viewers, please consider subscribing, share, hit that like button, leave a comment below, and click on that notification bell for future videos. So here you guys um, is the instructions for the puppy. And um, I've done this before in a previous video for righties. Um, if you want to see that video, go to the end of this one. I have the playlist at the end that you can click on. And it'll take you to all the characters that I've already made. But today I'm doing this for the lefties, you guys. And I hope that this time around it could be clearer than the first video. This is going to be my second time doing this ever with this puppy so the first time around was a pain in the neck um i might have edited that out but i definitely found it to be very difficult because we're switching um colors here but um yeah so i'm gonna try doing this i know i'm gonna come up on this problem with um i did a run through before and the way that they have their stitch counts it's making the middle part here not straight so i honestly not sure now if you're supposed to read it clockwise or counterclockwise and there's no instruction identifying which way you're supposed to go so i don't know but i think if this is made for righties maybe since it's this side, maybe it's counter. So I'm going to try that this time. I hope it works. If it doesn't, um, I'm really sorry. I'm really trying to decipher these instructions, you guys. I've had a lot of feedback with people that are highly confused with the instructions, let alone this video or my other videos. Um, and I don't know what to tell them because it is a difficult instruction. Now I do have feedback saying how helpful the video has been and for that I thank you guys so much. I'm really happy that my videos have been helping you. Um, I ended up making the characters, all uh, five or six of them, so it is doable. You just need to take some time and patience and practice, I guess. If you saw last week's video, I did the teddy bear and I did side by side um, the one I did with my right hand and the one that I did with my left. And that was basically the first time ever touching this type of um, crochet kit. And then obviously um, the left handed was the second time I did it. But of course, after I did all those other characters, so I did have some practice under my belt. So it came out looking you know a lot better <laughs> so anyway let's get this started we're gonna start crocheting the head and we're just gonna start diving into the first round we have to do six stitches and what this doesn't tell you um, that it should is how you do a magic loop so here I've kind of grouped up where um, uh, these steps are uh, so in this magic loop, it's steps one through three, and I'll show that to you right now. So you want to take your yarn here, step one, follow illustration and put the yarn around your finger for two rounds, leaving at least six inches tail until you become familiar with this method. The six inches will help you, but unfortunately these kits are not um, packed with a decent amount of yard for you to play with. So um, I'm going to show you how to do it with the least um, amount of wasted tail end. I am using my own yarn now because um, I've used up uh, their yarn for the right handed video. So instead of gray I'm using white but I am going to use brown. Um, also, let me mention, if you click that little gear on the screen in the corner of your screen there, um, you do have a playback option to speed up or slow down the video. And then also, if you're more a visual person and don't need to hear me speak, you, don't, you can always mute the, the video as well. 
Okay, so step one, we basically need to take this end and you'll kind of gauge um, the more you do the magic lo uh, loop how much you need because everybody's finger is a different size. But I'm going to take my finger and I'm going to wrap this around two times. One, two. And then you want to leave a little bit of excess to go over your index like this because we're going to take our middle finger and just pin that down just like that. And then we're going to grab the hook. This step two is how you hold it. A nice delicate way to crochet is to hold it like this plus it puts the least amount of pressure onto the hook. If you tense up while you crochet your hand is going to hurt after a while and we don't want that to happen. So um, if you hold it like this overhand, it'll, you know, you're, you'll, it's easy for you to tense up your hand. You can bend the hook. You can start feeling pain in your hand. So just hold it lightly like this. And that is step two. And it shows you both ways that you can hold it. I prefer to hold it like this well it really doesn't show you two ways they look the same way oh one has the finger on top the other one doesn't at least that's what i see in the differences here okay so step three follow the instruction hold the loop with the two fingers pull the yarn through the loop with two fingers and your hook so what that means is let's slip this hook underneath all these pieces like that I'm going to pull this back out, but I'm going to grab this one and pull it under these two. So pull back the hook, make sure it's hooking onto that last piece there, and drag it underneath these two. And so step four is pretty much saying, so you have one loop on the hook. <laughs> And then we have to seal this, so it's, it says step 5, draw the working yarn through the loop with your hook like the direction of the arrow. So we're going to yarn over, and you're going to pull that through the loop, and now your magic loop is sealed. You can remove this off your finger. And so now... Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to start our single crochet, step six, seven, eight, pass the hook through the loop in the direction of the arrow. So put your hook into the magic loop. Step seven is yarn over and pull the yarn through the loop with your hook like the direction of the arrow. So yarn over, pull the hook through the magic loop, just like that. Step eight, you now have two loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull the yarn through both loops with your hook in the direction of the arrow again. So yarn over and pull through two loops and we've created our single crochet. You will have one loop on your hook. Repeat this, the, this is step 10. Repeat the short stitch step six, seven, and eight for five times to form the six short stitch. In other words, single crochet, <laughs> FYI. So let me walk through that with you one more time and then we'll do uh, four more. So into the magic loop yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops. And now we're going to do four more. Like I said, you can speed up or slow down the video, pause it, whatever you need to do.
Okay. So now I have six stitches, and what they don't tell you is how to close this magic loop. So, how we do it is this excess piece here, we're going to pull it, but we're going to watch if this front loop or black back loop goes in first. I'll show you what I mean. Let's pull this and keep an eye on which loop moves first. Okay, so it looks like the back loop is moving. What we're going to do now is, here's the back loop, here's the front loop. I'm holding it down so I can see better. You want to pull this end out of the back loop. If you have to hold the stitches down by doing so, do that so it can help you out. But what you want to see is this front loop start disappearing into the magic loop. So pull out that end, keep on pulling it. See the front loop is closing in on itself. The stitches are grouping together. Pull it till you can't pull it anymore. Just like that. So now we have the back loop all hanging out there. Now we can grab the excess yarn and pull that and watch the back loop go in. And now we've closed up that magic loop. So now we're going to do a slip stitch, which is basically step 11 and 12. So you want to, I'm going to grab some yarn here. Count back six stitches, one, two, three, four, five, six. Put the hook into the front and back loops of that stitch. Then we're gonna yarn over and pull through all loops. So now we have our six stitch single crochet round and then um for step 13 it says yarn over pull the yarn through the loop with your hook in direction of the arrow again we call this the inner short stitch okay so yarn over pull through the loop now step 14 it says when you finish the first round, you could use a plastic needle to put a different color thread for marking so you know how many rounds you need to crochet. So I actually didn't know that. I just mark this to see where my last stitch is. So in case I lose count on the stitches, I can um, easily find out at least where the end is. But this is saying it will mark what round you're on. And I'm assuming you can leave a number of these, which I think will just get a little confusing with all these flapping around everywhere. So you can mark off the last stitch of every round if you choose so. But I'm just going to do the, the last stitch we made and remove it. Okay. So the next round we have to do is 12 stitches. So we have to do the increasing stitch six times. So the increasing stitch looks like this. It's an X with the down arrow. And these are the steps of how to do it. Additional stitch for short stitch means you repeat the short stitch twice for the same stitch like the illustration. Okay. And then just by... Um, doing math, we know that uh, I have to increase six stitches. So every stitch I have to do the increasing stitch. So how we do that is, okay, we did our chain one. So now um, we're going to do an increasing stitch. Stick your hook into the next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. The increasing stitch is basically doing the same stitch in the same stitch that we used. 
So now we have two single crochet stitches in one. See that one? Now there's two. And we're going to do this all the way around. Oh, and I didn't do the increasing stitch. <laughs> Go back into that same stitch. Into the next stitch. Now into the same stitch. So this is the last stitch that we have to work with. Um, according to the instructions, it seems like you have to leave it so that you can continue counting. That's just going to get a little too busy on here. So I'm just going to remove this and do my last increasing stitch and we're going to move on to the next round. So now I'm going to count back 12 and we'll do a slip stitch. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Man, light colors are hard to see. Oh, I lost it. Count back again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay. You can't assume um, where these stitches are because best bet is to count it, trust me. All right, so now we're going to mark this off again. And then we're going to see what's up with round three. So for round three, we have to do 18 stitches. And if you look closely, one, two, three, it's right here. I mean, you can't look closely in this video, but if you have the instructions in front of you, the rows are in red. So here's the third row. What makes me believe that you have to uh, read clockwise is because you need the height so that you always, this circle here, if you see these circles, this is the key, which I found out later. This is the circle here. There's a chain stitch. When we start these rows, as per instructions in the beginning, um, it has you do a chain. And then we, this is where we mark the row, but it has you do a chain. So, you would think that if you read it, row three, then it has a chain, then you do the increasing stitch. I wanted to do it counter but I think we should just stick with um, clockwise. I still think though that this is not gonna look right because I told you um, I tried doing a run through, actually I tried filming before and then I saw that this white piece here was shifting. So I don't know, let's try to figure this out. Um, we're gonna do a chain increase stitch Single crochet stitch, increasing stitch, single crochet stitch, increasing stitch. It looks like every other one we're going to be doing an increasing stitch. Okay. 
So I will show you how that's done. Okay, you're going to want to chain one, like it says in the instructions. Then we're going to be doing an increasing stitch. So into, I mark this off here, into the next stitch. We do the increasing stitch. Two. Then we do um, a single crochet stitch. Then we do an increasing stitch. Then we do a single crochet stitch. Then we do an increasing stitch. Let me get some more yarn. Then we do a single crochet stitch. Then we do an increasing stitch. Then we do a single crochet stitch. Then we do an increasing stitch. Then we do a single crochet stitch. And we do an increasing stitch. And for this last stitch here, gonna remove the marker and we're gonna do a single crochet stitch. So now we're gonna count back 18 stitches and then do a slip stitch. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Pull it through all loops. Then I'm going to mark off this row. And then we're going to move on to round four. But before we do that, let me show you something that's happening right now to this little spiral here. So you see that the um, it's starting to curl in. This side is the not so pretty side. This side is the pretty side. So you wanna flip it out. You wanna make sure that this, this is gonna be the head. So you wanna make sure that it's flipped out like that. And then we can move on to the fourth row. So the fourth row, we have um, 18 stitches again. So there's no going to be, there's not going to be any increase or decrease. So let's see what's happening here. Round four, um, five and six. So for the next three rows, we're just doing 18 and I'm just checking to see if it's all the same color and it's this all the same color. So for you guys, it's going to be gray. For me, it's going to be white. And I'm going to coast through this since it's all the same stitches. Like I said, if you need for me to slow down or quicken up, click on that gear on the corner of the screen and it has a playback option. You can speed it up or slow it down. And then again, if you don't need to hear me calling out the, um, the stitches, you can always mute the video. Let's do this three rows of 18. Let me also add that we're going to be switching, let's see, switching to brown in row seven. So when we finish the sixth row, when we finish the 18th stitch, don't slip stitch it yet. I'm going to show you how to cast on the brown. Okay, so 
chain one because we have a chain one and then we have 18 single crochet stitches Last stitch, remove the marker. So I'm going to count back 18 and do a slip stitch. this off. Round five, chain one, and eighteen single crochet stitches. Last stitch, remove the marker. Now we're going to count back 18 and do a slip stitch.
One, Gonna mark this. I'm gonna get more yarn now. Getting a lot of yarn because I hate having to feed myself yarn constantly. So we're going to chain one, then we're going to do 18 more single crochet stitches. Again, don't slip stitch this because I'm going to switch to the brown. Remove the yarn. Okay. So now I'm going to start setting up for brown. And to do that, we need this hook. So slide this up like that. Give yourself some slack so you don't lose the, the stitch. We're going to set this aside. Then I'm going to grab my brown yarn here. And we're going to cast on a chain. And to do that, you want to take the end piece and you want to pin it down with your uh, ring finger and pinky and thumb. Then you want to take your middle and index finger and pull a decent amount away because we're going to take our hook and lie it perpendicular to the yarn. Then we're going to go down out and around to create a loop on the hook. Then you want to take your middle finger and just hold that in place while you gather up some yarn on your finger. Then we're going to slide this hook towards the end piece. We want to waste as little bit of yarn as possible. So slide this down hold this um, end so you don't over pull. But now that we have this loop, I want you to pinch both this and this yarn together to create a little loop for the hook. So you can see like it's not moving, it's keeping that loop. Now you're going to want to yarn over 
and we're going to pull this through that loop and that's how we do our chain but now this knot here keep pinching this end piece don't let go we're going to push this knot towards that end piece trying to close up this knot so just keep pushing it down until you can't push it down anymore and then what we're going to do is we're going to pull this end piece so that this knot can be a little tight not too tight just make sure it's secure then I'm going to grab the knot and pull this by sliding this up towards the hook you want to leave enough so that you can remove this and not lose your little loop that you made I'm going to set that aside I'm going to pick back up this loop here pull that so that the loop is not too big then I'm going to count 18 and I'm going to insert my hook onto the 18th stitch 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Okay. So stick your hook into the 18th stitch like that. Then, rather than pick this one up, set this aside. We're going to slip this brown on. And then I want you to... pull through all loops here like that okay so now we have a few options to do here this can get a little confusing so I'm trying to figure out if we should just do it the harder way the harder way, um, you'll have to deal with these two flopping around while you crochet. Let's just do it the safer route. You guys, if you want me to do it the difficult way, I'll do a, a clip of this um, crocheted head at another point of time. But let's just do it the safe way. So I'm just going to cut this white. And then I'm going to tie the white around the brown two times not too tight just snug because you don't want the white to get loose and start unraveling I mean it would take a bit to do that but just in case so now we're going to continue on with this brown Oh, and before we move on with the brown, make sure you still mark it. I tend to forget this part, as I almost did, um, but it is two different colors, so it's easier to see where the last stitch was. But just in case, let's mark this as well. Stick it in the last stitch there. Okay. Then we're going to move on to row 7. We have to get up to 22 stitches. And row 7 has a chain. It's funny because all the, the, ch all the chains are in gray. But I'm just going to hope that that <laughs> wasn't meant to be like that. Okay, so round 7. We have to do a chain. We have to do one two three four five six seven um seven stitch single crochet stitches and then an increasing stitch and then we have to it's funny because this x these two x's here if you can see it in your instructions half of the x is brown half of the x is gray so i believe that when we do the two single crochet stitches for the increasing st stitch One's going to be brown, the other one's going to be gray. Which is crazy because it looks nothing like this, I feel. But anyway, let's chain one. 
and then we're going to do seven single crochet stitches one two three four five six seven and then we have to do our increasing stitch so one two and now before we start this halvesy one pull this out we're going to be doing this until these colors these switcheroo rows are done so bear with me we're going to do this cast on again so ring finger pinky thumb middle finger index finger perpendicular hook we're going to go down out and around and hold that in place while we get some yarn here pinch the end pull the hook towards that end piece then you're going to want to pinch the end and then this piece together like that so that you can yarn over and pull that through the loop and then you want to pinch the end again because we're going to push this knot towards that end piece tightening that knot up keep pushing it down until you can't push it down any further and once you get to that point we're going to pull this end piece to tighten up that little knot then I'm going to pull this and slide the knot towards the hook then I'm going to pull it off the hook here and set that aside okay so now we have to do a next increasing stitch but the first stitch is going to be in brown but we're not going to complete it all in brown so let me show you what I mean we're going to stick the needle into the next stitch yarn over pull up a loop and instead of pulling the brown we're going to let this one go then we're going to slide on this white and we're going to pull that through the loop and then we're going to I would normally um, cut this like I did last time but we're really just going to go right back to brown so I don't want you to have to go through that again <laughs> at least not for this round so just stick your needle back into the same hook just push this guy aside a little bit we're going to yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops. So we've got that first halvesies. Now we got to do the second halvesies. So into the next stitch, insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop. Now we're not going to continue with the white. You want to put this aside and we're going to grab the brown again and we're going to yarn over pull up a loop pull through two loops in this case to complete that single crochet and then in the same stitch we're going to do a single crochet stitch with the brown like that so you guys i wish this was live you guys can choose your own adventure so we pretty much kept this on and that's what I mean by kind of playing around with the two um with the two pieces of yarn you guys um you can play this back if you are more comfortable than uh snipping this and tying it around to secure it and just starting over that way do so but you know what I think because we're already here let's leave this on let's try to 
to make our lives a little easier maybe um, if we kept these on and we don't have to keep casting on so let's see so that last round I showed you how to cast on this round and forward maybe I'll show you how to just use it from where it's at you don't need to secure anything it's still attached okay so now that we completed the halvesy now we have to do another increasing stitch so let's do an increasing stitch stick your hook into the next stitch and we're going to do two of these in there so we got that and then we're going to do one two three four five six seven so one two three four five six let's remove this marker and do seven so now I'm going to count back 22 and we're going to do a slip stitch one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two. Stick this in the twenty second stitch, and we're going to do a slip stitch, and then we're going to mark off this round. And then we're going to remo uh, move on to round eight. Okay, okay so for round eight, I'm just going to get some yarn here. So for round eight, we have to do a chain and then we do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven stitches, an increasing stitch, two single crochet stitches, and then we switch to gray. So let's do that much. We're going to do a chain. We're going to do seven single crochet stitches. Then we're going to do the increasing stitch. Then we're going to do two single crochet stitches. On the second one, we're going to not complete it because we're going to switch to the white. So one. And then let's do a second one. You stick your needle into the stitch. Okay, we're gonna yarn over, pull up a loop. Don't do the brown, set it aside. And we're gonna do the white. Like that. Then we have to do two single crochet stitches. So one. Two, okay. oops, undo it. We have to switch to the brown. <laughs> so keep your two loops 
all I did was just remove that last stitch that I did. I'm going to come here, I'm going to pick up the brown, okay. So now we have to do two single crochet stitches. Then we do an increasing stitch. Two. And then we do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we're going to be doing, let me get more yarn here. And in case you're wondering why it's all wrinkly, this yarn is because I'm actually unraveling a very old project that I never finished. So that's the, the joy of crocheting. If ever you want to dismantle a project, it's easy to do. You just pull it all out. So we're going to do seven single crochet stitches. stitch, pull it out, then I'm going to count back to 24 stitches and do a slip stitch. And then I'm going to mark this off. So now we have to do row 9, which is 30 stitches. We're going to chain 1, then do an increasing stitch. 1, 2, 3, increasing stitch. 1, 2, 3, increasing stitch. 1, 2. Then we switch to um, the gray. So this is where it's going to get funny, you guys told you that um, it started shifting and I have no idea why. Okay, chain one. Uh, what did I say? Increasing stitch. Then we're going to do three single crochet stitches. Extra here. Okay. Then we're going to do an increasing stitch. Okay. 
and then um Increase uh, three single crochet stitches. I keep losing my place here, and then an increasing stitch. So you see how it's shifting now? This isn't going to look right. And I don't know what they did when they did these instructions. But there's no room. So this has to match this. Okay. If we continue doing what their instructions say for row 9, this is going to make that little stripe down the puppy's face go in an angle and um that's what happened to me uh the first time i started filming this so let me remove this dexter hair <laughs> okay so we know that this has to be a straight line and then it kind of flares out so I think I'm just going to switch to the gray. So actually what I should have done for this increasing stitch is leave the two loops on there and we're going to switch to the white. And I know you guys it's going to sound crazy. You know these instructions are supposed to be accurate but we actually caught it was either the bunny or the mouse character that they, they definitely messed up the count. But here, they definitely did. Um, what I suggest, whatever stitch that you're left, um, try to keep this line. So if you stop on an increasing stitch, stop. If you stop at a single crochet sti stitch, stop. We're going to leave these two loops here, and we're just going to switch to our white. Okay. And trust me, like, I know we're now deviating from the instructions, but we need to make this puppy look like this. <laughs> this little stripe here. So, we do the two in the gray, like the instructions say. Now when you do the second one, don't complete it. We're going to switch back to the brown. Okay, so wherever you are in your stitches, just keep this line. Look, it looks it looks fine. Trust me, if we did, we did, I'm supposed to do, um, where's row nine? Row nine. I'm supposed to do two more single crochet stitches in brown. That would have totally closed off my little stripe, right? And that's why these instructions, they suck. <laughs> so, um, coming back, we'll try to we'll try to copy back what we're what we're doing here. Um, oh, I missed something here. Oh, okay, so this is a single crochet. This is a um, an increase. Oh my gosh. I know you guys are going to hate me. Alright, let's undo this. Get our two loops back. We're going to do an increasing stitch in here. Sorry, you guys. That threw me off. And I've been asked... Why do you leave something in there if it's wrong? Well, because we know this is real. Because sometimes you can't make this stuff up. Okay, increase stitch into that same stitch, you guys. Um, you know, when you see someone struggling, oh, don't finish this, we're gonna switch to the brown. 
okay leaving this two here when you see someone struggling it's it's it makes at least for me it makes me feel like okay i'm not perfect too you know i'm struggling with this too okay so now we can go do our three single crochet stitches and then do an increasing stitch You know, I leave it in there because um, it's proof that this is, this is terrible. <laughs> These instructions, man. I've said it in a ton of the character videos I made. Someone should really do quality control before they put these kits out. Um, because this is supposed to be, we're going to do an increasing stitch here. Because this is supposed to be a beginner kit. And right off the bat everybody is lost you know all right did the increasing stitch then we do one two three and then an increasing stitch so let's do three and remember the first time i did this uh the teddy bear the first one ever it's because my good friend uh texted me and asked me to help her out because she was so lost and I told her it's not it's not you these instructions are ridiculous click that like button if you agree where did I leave off increase one two three then we're going to do an increase. One, two. Then we have to do um, three single crochet stitches. And it has you done, right? But look, we have stitches left, so. Oh man. Just gonna do three single crochet stitches. Wherever you are, just repeat the pattern. You should end up with um, 30. So let's increase the stitch here. I believe, if not, we can always change it. So pull out the yarn. A single crochet stitch. Now we're going to count this back and see if we have 30. <laughs> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. All right, well, we have 31, so we know that increase was not a good idea. So let's take it back. And this is the reality of the instructions. This is how it's going to be. So I just removed that increase stitch that we did, and I'm just going to go do a single crochet in the next one, and that's it. Okay, so now count back 30 and then do um, a slip stitch. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Okay, so you guys... Um, also a good reason to leave it in is because since these instructions are wrong i can't knowing this already and this is my second take rather than just go ahead and change the instructions altogether and have you wonder why this is the proof as to why we need to change the instructions now so we're going to try ending up with the same puppy but it's going to be um, a different instruction
but I think if these were like a, a question, they should be doing videos to themselves so that, you know, what if I'm doing something wrong, you know? Well, I'm just literally following their instructions and, um... It's not working out. <laughs> okay, so round 10, 30. At least we don't have to increase or decrease. We just got to get the color right. So round 10, we're going to chain 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Uh, brown. And then we're going to do 3 gray. And then the rest are going to be brown. Let's see. Um, it obviously has to line up with this. So um, in this case, we'll see how many stitches it takes to go around. Just out of curiosity because we already know it's not going to be... How much did I say? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. It's not going to be 14. It'll be less than that. Okay, so let's chain one and let's find out. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's t it took eleven, you guys. <laughs> Gotta love these instructions. Okay. So, we're going to do one more single crochet stitch, but we're going to be um, leaving two loops on the hook because we're switching to white. So, yarn over, pull up a loop. Now, we're going to switch to our, what, our gray or white or, you know, the lighter color. Okay. So now we have to do three. Okay. Do three. One. Two. Three. See so right there, that's 14. Oops. Don't finish it. Leave the two loops. We gotta switch back to brown. Yeah, so that would have been 14. Ugh, these instructions. They, they are horrible. I feel your pain. Okay. And we're not going to even count the rest. <laughs> Just make sure you get to the end of your stitch here. You should have 30. Because there's no increase or decrease. So there's nothing to be confused about. So Just follow the color pattern here. I mean, confusion and all, though, it is looking pretty cute. Last stitch, remove the marker. Uh, 
Now we're going to count back 30 and we're going to do a slip stitch. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Slip stitch. And then we're going to do We're going to put this marker here. Okay. Round 11, we have 30. So, chain. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 this time. And then we're going to switch to the gray and do one, two, three, four, five. Okay, this is where we know it's not going to be 13. <laughs> not at all. So what we're going to do is we know we have to have five um, gray. So this will be three. And then we know we have to do one on each side to keep it even Steven. So just stop one stitch before you hit the white or the gray, sorry, and we'll switch colors. And sorry, you guys, this is just our reality right now. Um, I'll leave a comment below if you've mastered why this thing shifts and figured out a way to keep it from shifting. But we're legit following the instructions. You can see me um, doing it as I'm doing them and it just doesn't make doesn't make any sense to me. So I'm getting some yarn. I think I got more than I needed actually, but it's okay. Okay. So we're gonna chain one. And we're just gonna do single crochet stitches until we hit the last stitch before it turns the different color. So before we finish this one off, it's one before it changes color, right? So we're going to switch to the white, or in your case, the gray. Okay, so pull this through here, and then do five single crochet stitches with this, but don't finish the fifth one because we have to switch back to brown. I don't like how I did that one. I'm gonna redo it. I pulled something. Okay, last one, don't finish it. Go. We're gonna put this white aside. Grab the brown again. And we're going to pull that through. And then single crochet all the way to the finished, the, fin the last stitch. 
it's going to say finish line. Okay, we're going to make this work for us, you guys. And hopefully I'll be able to um, help complete this last bits once once this little line is done and over with. Last stitch, we're going to pull this out. Okay, then we're going to count back 30 and do a, sl a slip stitch. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Okay, then we're going to mark this off. So now for round 12, we're going to do 24 stitches, which means we're going to be doing a decreasing stitch for the first time in this project. So I'll walk you through that. Um, round 12. So we have to do a chain. And now the decreasing stitch here, it's an X with an arrow on top. So. Chain, decrease stitch, one, two, three, decrease stitch, one, two, three, decrease stitch. And then we're going to switch to um, the gray, where we have three single crochet stitches, a decrease stitch, and then two single crochet stitches. Now, we know that's not going to be the right count, so let's see what we got here. So we have five, how is that even possible? <laughs> There's only five single crochet stitches. How are we decreasing? See what I'm talking about? I'm telling you. All right, well, maybe it's increasing the the width more. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. We have to end up with six stitches no matter what of, of this gray. So, and we want it center. So we're going to do one, two, three, decrease, one, two. All right. So our white is going, or our gray, or your gray, my white, it's going to end up here. We have one stitch on each side that's going to be covered in the gray. And then in the middle here, we'll um, decrease. So we'll do the three. One, two, three. We'll decrease here. And then we'll do the two single crochet stitches. One, two. All right, so in the brown, we're going to stop like we did before. One before it turns color. Let me grab some of this yarn. 
I hope you're able to follow along. I know this is confusing you guys, but bear with me. You can see that, you know, we're trying to keep that white part or gray part um, in the center. So at least we know the concept of it. We just have to execute it differently from how they've got it done. So we're going to chain one, like they say. Okay. Then we're going to do um, a decreasing stitch. So we are going to stick the needle into the next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, now we're going to stick the needle into the next stitch over and we're going to yarn over, pull up a loop. So now we have three loops. You're going to want to yarn over and pull through all three loops. So unlike increasing, we're taking two stitches to make one. So after we do that, we do one, two, three. Let's do three single crochet stitches. One, two, three, and then we only have room for a decreasing stitch, so let's do that. Into the next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, into the next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop. Now don't complete this because we have to do, we have to switch colors. So, grab your yarn here, and it is starting to pull now, the distance that you're making, but make sure you have enough slack to cover that dif distance. But yes, yeah, so we're going to yarn over, and we're going to pull through all loops with the gray. Then we're going to do the three single crochet stitches, one, two, three. Then we have to do a decreasing stitch, so into the next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, into the next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through all three lo loops. Then we're going to do single crochet stitch. Then we're going to do one more. And I believe this is the last time we turn to brown. So, yes. Do a single crochet stitch, stick your hook into the next stitch, yarn over. Don't finish this. Put this aside. We're going to switch to brown. This is the last time we're going to be doing the brown, but we need this white for the next round, so I'm going to show you what we're going to do. So, yarn over, pull through both loops. Now what I'm going to want to do real quickly, because we won't need um, the brown, we won't need the brown anymore, but we need this over here, if that makes sense. So we have to remove this because we're going to need it elsewhere. But like we did before, you just want to tie this around the brown two times just to keep it secure so that it won't unravel. And then now we're going to continue with the rest of the brown. Okay, so I just want to make sure what stitches we left on this side. So we did that, we did that. So we left behind one, two, three, and an increase, a decreasing stitch. Okay, so we should have three and a decreasing stitch left to do here. We're going to just right now copy this side here. We have 
a single crochet stitch then we have a decreasing stitch Then we have one, two, three single crochet stitches and then a decreasing stitch. One, two, three, and a decreasing stitch. One, two, We have one, two, three, and then we're gonna complete the rest of the stitches that we left behind. So, one, two, three. Let's do a decreasing stitch. One, Two, and then we're gonna do looks like three single crochet stitches one two this is last stitch pull out the marker and do a single crochet stitch so now we should have 24 Let's hope for the best. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four. Okay. Now, since this is the last of the brown, row thirteen is now switched to the gray. All right, before we stick this into the 24th stitch, pull this out, we're gonna do the same thing we did, casting on a chain with this other color here. Perpendicular, down, out, and around. Hold it in place, grab some yarn, pinch the end, slide it down. Then we're gonna pinch where it crosses so we can yarn over, pull through that loop, and then we're going to make sure we pinch that end. Don't lose it. I almost lost it. And then we're going to slide this knot towards the end, trying to tighten it up. And once you get it to the end and you can't push it no more, take the end, pull that down to tighten up this knot a little bit. And I'm going to pull this out while I shift this knot up towards the hook. And then we're going to let this go. Set it aside. Then I'm going to grab my project again. Tighten up that loop. Now we're going to put this into the, the 24th stitch. And um, actually we're going to drop that. We're going to slip on the gray and then we're going to pull this through all the loops and then I'm going to cut off this brown here because we're done with it for now and we're going to tie this around two times just to make it nice and secure So now we can do row 13, which is 18 stitches. We're going to have to drop six of them. So let's see. Oh, let's mark. Let's mark this too. Yep, I always forget that when I switch colors. Slip this through. 
the last stitch we made. So now 13. We have a decrease stitch, one, two, decrease stitch, one, two, decrease stitch, one, two, decrease stitch. So every two um, single crochet stitches, then we do a decreasing stitch. And we don't need to fuddy-duddy anything because we're done switching colors. It's all going to be the same. So, and you know what? It actually doesn't tell you to chain one, which is odd too, because every single one you chain, you need the height. That chain is to make the height of the row, otherwise it's going to look like a spiral. And we don't want spirals, we want even Steven rows, a continuous row. So that's where they screwed up too. They have to put three more circles on each of those remaining rows. So we're going to chain one like we always do. And then we're going to be doing a, a decreasing stitch. I already forgot what we're doing. Okay. One. Decreasing stitch. And then two single crochet stitches. One, two, then we have to do a decreasing stitch, then we do two single crochet stitches, then we do a decrease. Decreasing stitch. Then we do two single crochet stitches. I'm going to grab more yarn, and that's pretty much what we're doing. Every two, then comes a decreasing stitch. Stitch one, two, decreasing stitch. Two single crochet stitches. Decreasing stitch. Two single crochet stitches. Alright guys, that was the alarm. I have to feed my cat. After these stitches, I'll do it. <laughs> I'll have to pause. Decreasing stitch. And yes, he has a feeding alarm. And yes, his name is Dexter. And he, it's the theme song to the TV show Dexter. <laughs> Alright. And then two single crochet stitches. Last one. Move the marker. Okay. So we should have 18 and we're going to do a slip stitch. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. And I'm going to mark this off. So if you have those plastic pieces, I would say now is the time to put on those um, plastic eyeball pieces. 
And um, like I've said in every video, I don't like to use the plastic pieces because it's a choking hazard. So what I'm gonna do is sew them on myself, but I am going to stuff. So take this time, put on your eyes if you're having if you're using the plastic pieces, and then start stuffing the head because as this gets smaller, it's going to be harder to stuff. So for me, like I said, I'm going to sew them on, but I am going to stuff the head. And I'll be right back. Gotta feed the cat. Okay, so let's take this opportunity to fill in this head. Now, the kit comes with super ultra soft um, stuffing if you end up finding that kit and want to do it. The stuffing is fabulous. Um, for some of the characters, um, it was not enough, but since I've already used my stuffing, I am going to be using my own stuffing today. Um, so I'm just gonna put this stuffing in there. And because you're limited to the amount of stuffing that the kit gives you, um, obviously you can only put as much as they give you. If you have your own stuffing, that is great. Go ahead and um, put in as much as you think, you know, uh, your desired firmness. So I'm going to put, I don't know, I like mine kind of firm, but not too crazy. So. going to stuff this in here. Still kind of plush. We'll see if I want to put any more um, after we get to the last row. Like I said, it's going to be six stitches. So do this now. It'll be harder to do it later, but if you want to slip in a little bit after, there is a tiny hole that you can <laughs> I'll work with when we get to the last row. Okay, so I'm going to continue on with, um, where did we leave off? 18? Let's count. Yeah, I think that's about 18. So for 14, we go down to 12 in, uh, 12 stitches. And um, what it's asking us to do here is a decrease stitch, single crochet, decrease stitch, single crochet, decrease stitch. So every other um, stitch we are decreasing. So we're almost at the finish line, you guys. And then I'm just going to um, do part two to do the body. And hopefully we'll have time to do... Um, the rest of the parts, otherwise I will part three the videos and then obviously we'll have to assemble. So like I said, we have to chain one. They didn't put the marker there, they should because it creates the height of the round. And then in the next stitch we are going to do the decreasing stitch. Then we're going to do a single crochet stitch and we're going to do a decreasing stitch i'm going to do a single crochet stitch decreasing stitch I'm going to do a single crochet stitch and we're going to do a decreasing stitch then we're going to do a single crochet stitch then we're going to do a decreasing stitch
And we're going to do a single crochet stitch. And we're going to do a decreasing stitch. And then remove the marker and we're going to do a single crochet stitch. Then we're going to count back 12 and do a slip stitch. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay. Then I'm going to mark this row. This is going to be the last row. And for the last row, we have to do six to end up with six stitches, so we're pretty much going to decrease each stitch. So again, chain one, decrease stitch all the way around. This is the last stitch, so we'll remove the marker. Okay. So now we're going to be doing a uh, count back six stitches and do a slip stitch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now that we have that, we're going to flip this over here. We have step 15 that we never did. When you reach the last stitch on the last row, cut off the yarn with about 5 inches to spare, slip the end of the yarn through the stitch and pull it to tighten the loop. Weave the tail into your work. In this case, um, when it comes to finishing body parts, it's nice to have those five inches. So make sure you measure five inches. Otherwise, if you have your own yarn, I'm just going to cut it where I want it. Because they supposedly work this out. So <laughs> um, five inches might be sufficient. Because what we're going to do, you guys, um, we're going to use the five inches to sew the body parts together. But yeah, so like it said here, I was going to do it already. Yarn over and pull all the way through. And then we're going to tighten up this stitch here. And then we've co completed our puppy head. So you guys, I really hope that um, this portion here did not confuse you too much. Uh, leave a comment below. I'll redo it to where I just do my own instructions. Like I said, I feel like it needed to be in there because this is what happened in reality at the moment. I found out that something wasn't working, which will happen. This isn't the only instruction that this happens to. 
sometimes even in the booklets that you pay, you know, $15, $20 for, even more than that sometimes, sometimes they mess up as well. So you have to kind of figure out your way around it to make it work. And I hope that um, my workaround was easy to um, keep up with. Uh, like I said, you can always click on the gear at the corner to speed up or slow down the videos, um, playback, pause, whatever you need to do. But yeah, this one was a difficult one. Don't beat yourself up if you didn't get this the first time around. I didn't, but the logic is if it has to look like this and it looks like this is straight, then of course whatever we're doing in this section here, it has to be straight. So when I started noticing that it was shifting, I said, hold up, this is totally wrong. I stopped filming and I started all over again to see if it would happen again and it did. So that's why I had to try to help you guys straighten this part out. Leave a comment below. Let me know if you tried doing this following the, per the instructions and if it does happen to you too, because maybe it is just me. Like I said, I'm not a teacher by any means. Um, I just crochet a lot and I don't really do instructions. I actually just make up my own stuff. Um, so this, this is just as difficult um, doing this the first time and a little bit the second time around, just like you guys are doing at home. So uh, let me know how it goes. Uh, check out video two where we do hopefully the rest of the body and then put it together. Otherwise, we'll have a part three. But thank you so much for watching, you guys. This is Isms by Josie. Please share, like, and subscribe for future videos. And I'll see you again next time. Thanks. Bye.